name is Tiffany Thompson, and I live in with my girlfriend, Sheena. We have two bad, terrible, crazy dogs from hell, Nyla and Ellie. The dogs extreme, like, hate each other. They fight all the time. This house is like a chaos all night, all day. It's just the worst. Before she can come up with a solution, Victoria will spend the day observing Ellie and Nyla for herself. Grab her. Nyla. That's a little dog bark. I was greeted by one dog, and then I could hear another dog in the apartment. And when I looked over to the bedroom, I saw a dachshund behind the glass barking at me. <laughs> My other baby, Ellie, she's a new have to them separate because they are vicious. Nyla, she's a Yorkshire Terrier. And then I have Ellie, which is a dachshund. Oh! Oh my god, that's vicious. Yes, yes very. It's every day, all day. Dealing with the dogs every day and the way they behave, I mean, it's just stressful. It causes me to have anxiety. I'm just tired, I'm exhausted, I'm over the whole situation. Ben. Knock it off, Nyla. Shh. Gotta get the vacuum on, huh? She's scared of the broom. She's scared of broom, the vacuum. When Nyla is bad, I normally get the broom because she hates it, and so she calms down. Unfortunately, Sheena and Tiffany's solution for bedtime is hardly any better. Ellie, Ellie. Okay, I'm gonna take her and put her in a cage. Usually I would put the diaper on her, but it's not gonna work right now. <laughs> okay. So why why do you put them one on top of the other so they can see each other? Um, well, usually usually I put a blanket on top of them when it's time to go to bed so they can't really see each other. When we had them next to each other, they would be able to, to fight through the fence because it's so wide on the side. Right. That now they started biting each other through the actual gate. Do you actually get any sleep at night? After um, a while. After a while. When it, they cry themselves to sleep. When the dogs are put in the crates, they go ballistic trying to get at the other. It must be very, very stressful. Ellie being on the top, trying to get down to Nyla at the bottom. It's just awful. Separating the dogs all the time can cause even more estrangement. And when dogs see each other through a glass door, that gets them so frustrated. They can't get to each other. There's a safety there, but they can't get to each other. So that, le that makes the frustration even more. The fact that their crates are stacked on top of each other frustrates them even more. Back at home, Victoria has a surprise that will hopefully put to rest the girls' sleepless nights. Wow, look at that. These are wow. new crates for oh your God. dog. These are so nice. Oh. I wanted to change this bedroom from hell to haven. The old sleeping arrangements with one dog on top of the other dog's crate, where they can see each other but they can't get to each other, is just antagonizing the dogs by giving the dogs separate sleeping quarters, by giving them crates where they can feel cozy. Hopefully that's gonna make them sleep better, the girls are gonna sleep better, and all around, reduce stress. They're not close together, they can't get at each other. It was some fly crates. It was something that I knew that my dogs would love, and actually I loved, I actually wanted to crawl in myself. Along with more restful nights, Victoria has another way to reduce stress in the home. I think it's really important for the dogs to have playtime. Play is a great way to get all the dogs' energy out. I want these dogs to be able to settle in their home. I want there to be more of a routine. Playtime is a very important part of that routine. I love these kind of toys. They're, they're interactive toys. And dogs have to work hard. What's that? Hi. I'm a baby. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. And this is such great mental stimulation. <laughs> and she can get rid of all of her irrita irritation out on that. Nyla played for her toy for about 15, 20 minutes. It's the first time really the girls have had just to sit back and watch her and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you. Nyla absolutely loved the toy. It's actually really new for Nyla, so she's really excited about it. And I look forward to giving her positive playtime more often. Now it's Ellie's turn to play. He 
here is this toy. Using toys allows the dog to really have a good time and after having that good time to feel tired. The more tired the dog is, the less stressed it'll be, the less reactive it will be. Victoria has left Tiffany and Sheena with the challenge of maintaining the peace between Nyla and Ellie. There's already a marked difference in the atmosphere of the house, especially at bedtime. Good night, baby. <laughs> Oh. Good girl, Nella. Overall, I sleep been much, much better. Um, we actually been getting rest, and that, and that works for us. Sheena and Tiffany are also spending quality time with both dogs one-on-one. -on -one. It's playtime. Playtime. Come, Nella. I got your baby. I got your babies. Let's see. Get your baby. Victoria told me it's good to have a different toy each day. So I went out and brought some toys. She loves it. I'm glad to see that you picked up some new toys. Nyla's really enjoying them. Once Nyla has had some time to play, Tiffany and Sheena quickly swap out the dog so Ellie can have her turn. Playtime is a, is a good part of the day. It's a part where we get to see the dogs have fun. We get to relax and do something else while they're busy. It looks like Nyla and Ellie are really enjoying their playtime. This kind of physical and mental exercise is really important. All right, let's go get Nyla and bring her back out. Okay. But just when it seems like all is calm, the girls head to the bedroom to switch the dogs again, which drives Nyla into a frenzy. When Nyla's out in the living room and Ellie's in the room, the minute she hears Ellie bark or she sees Ellie moving behind the window, she goes absolutely bonkers. She's there trying to chew the blinds, pulling the blinds down, scratching, pulling. Obviously, the bedroom door is still a real hot spot for Nyla, even when Ellie's safely tucked away. I'm going to have to address that problem before things really get out of hand. I have been watching some of your progress. I definitely need more help with the training of the door, where they have a lot of aggression at is the door. <laughs> And the minute she knows that I'm trying to go on the door, she would sit right there, bark at me, or just, you know, have that type of aggression towards the door. The area by the door is too volatile. When Nyla goes up to it, she goes ballistic, trying to get to Ellie. So while Ellie is tucked safely away in the bedroom, Victoria wants to rearrange a few things. By putting her crate here, she doesn't have any desire to go and bark at that door. Mm -hmm. Now, what we have to do is we have to be able to get in the other bedroom door without Nyla going crazy. So there's a couple of things I want to do with you to make it easier for you. OK. Please. <laughs> Nyla's a very sensitive dog. And she's very sensitive to your movement. Come on. Come on. And so what I would like to do is to be able to really desensitize her to different triggers so that she never knows that you're going to the bedroom. Mm. Dogs don't only pick up on people's energy, they pick up on people's habits too. So if Sheena and Tiffany can change their energy, if they can change their habits, if they can refocus, then Nyla's not gonna get so irate. My focus is off her. My body language is saying I'm not gonna go to the bedroom. Can you see how I'm really now by near the bedroom door, mm -hmm. but her demeanor is completely different because I'm not focusing on going into the bedroom. I'm focusing on the magazine. Okay. And when you take your focus of what you, your real intentions are and you pretend to do something different, then the dog doesn't read your triggers. It's a different deal. Do you okay. see what I mean? I definitely get what you're saying. Now Sheena okay. takes over. It's very um, cool to see that this technique that Victoria taught me with the whole magazine is actually effective. I'm excited about it and I just, I'm ready to go. I'm all the way to it. I would not be happy leaving here if I knew that there weren't two people who are capable, responsible, and dedicated to their dogs, but you are. 
Yes. You are, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that you are going to do everything yes. in your possible power. <laughs> Well, look, good luck. Best Thank of luck. You. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just like really, really happy to even know that now I have a, a chance with my dogs. I actually see a brighter future and I'm extremely excited. Tension has decreased um, like you wouldn't believe it. It's just so much better not to hear the barking, not to hear the growling. Actually making her want to stay in the living room instead of following me everywhere I go through the house.